As we celebrate Black History Month in February, we want to reflect on where we've been, where we are, and where we plan to go. African Americans have the highest rate of teen pregnancy. They have the highest rates of HIV and AIDS. They have the highest rates of high school dropouts and the lowest rates of persons who actually matriculate through college. Um, they have the highest rates of STDs and STIs. He started in 1996 the Black Church Initiative. This initiative was to bring together uh, black clergy from across the country to determine how we might address this issue of sexuality. Our first meeting was held in 1997 at Howard University Divinity School where over 400 clergy, youth leaders, and religious leaders and youth came together for three days of dialogue. We've been very successful in getting um, traditional African-American denominations like the AME and the National Baptist Freaking Convention and the Progressive Baptist Convention and the Church of God in Christ to open their doors for a discussion between youth and adults, clergy, parents on these issues which are paralyzing our community. We've provided a place not only for the church to break the silence about those issues, but also that we've given them the tools to be able to break that silence. This program has served to reduce teen pregnancy, which is, uh, in my estimation, the cause of much of the poverty in our community. Dr. Jo Jocelyn Elders indicated on one of her speeches that 70% of the poverty in the black community can be traced to teen pregnancy. If we are to eradicate and reduce poverty in our community, we're going to have to break this cycle, and that's what we're trying to do in the Keeping It Real program. There have been several young people that have gone through our program that have shared their testimonies with us about how our program impacted their sexual decision making, how they felt like they were better equipped to decide when the right time for them would be to have sex. Um, to make healthy choices if they decided to have sex, to decide to postpone um, sexual activity or stop or halt sexual, uh, being sexually active if they were sexually active. This year's summit uh, will be July 8th through the 10th at Howard. Um, the summit draws over 500 adults and 200 young people. Um, we have two and a half days worth of worship, workshop, fun, um, and just really equipping and research, re, resourcing um, the black church to be able to address sexuality in its midst back in its own community. I want to thank all of those who have been a part of this program and I encourage you to continue to work with us in the days and years to come. Thank you very much. Bingo.